Hi, my name is Brett Englund. I'm the Director of Sales for Electrification at Vanguard Power. Chances are good if you're here today, you have questions about electrification and batteries, and maybe you're even looking at an application. We're here to help answer those questions. So today we're going to talk a little bit about different types of batteries, what their advantages and disadvantages are. Let's talk about the four main types of rechargeable batteries. There's lead acid, nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride, and lithium ion. Lead acid is one of the most common types of battery in industrial and commercial applications. There's two main types of it, flooded, which requires maintenance, and sealed, which does not. Now there's a lot of pros to lead acid batteries. They're inexpensive, widely available, but they're also heavy. They have a much shorter lifespan than other types of batteries. They have deep discharge limits attached to them, and they have a much shorter lifespan than other types of batteries on the market. Nickel cadmium is also an older type of rechargeable battery, commonly found in electronics. Uh, pros, it has a high temperature tolerance. They're relatively inexpensive and fast charging. However, they're not as powerful as nickel metal hydride batteries, and they do suffer from self-discharge issues. Nickel metal hydride is a newer type of rechargeable battery, typically found for electronics and in some automotive packs. Uh, it does have a higher capacity than nickel cadmium, also than lead acid and had a lighter weight, but it is also expensive and has a, a high rate of self-discharge. The final type is lithium ion. It's a very popular choice for a lot of different applications. There's numerous chemistries out there, but the most common ones that you'll see are lithium iron phosphate, LFP, or nickel manganese cobalt, NMC. It has a much higher energy density than other types of battery, rechargeable batteries. It has a lower self-discharge rate and a longer life and a lighter weight. However, it is a little more expensive than a lead acid battery. Now let's talk about some of the advantages of lithium ion versus lead acid. The first is energy density. Lithium ion has a much higher energy density than lead acid. So you get more energy in the same amount of space or for the same amount of weight. It helps a lot for a portable type application. Lithium ion also has a much greater depth of discharge than lead acid without suffering a memory effect, which is the loss of capacity due to discharging the battery beyond its practical, usable capability. And then there's the self-discharge rate. Lithium ion has a much lower rate of self-discharge than lead acid. Another advantage of lithium ion is what we call the power band. As lithium ion runs, you get a longer period of consistent voltage versus lead acid. This means as you run your application, the motors run more consistently. With a lead acid battery, as the application runs longer, the voltage drops more quickly and the motors turn more slowly. Hopefully this has helped answer some of your questions. Although, if you have more, we're happy to help. Visit vanguardpower.com and click on the Contact Us button. We'd be happy to help walk through any other questions you have about your application or batteries. Thank you.